BitTech here. Welcome back to the channel. First, I want to say thank you to everyone who watched the first video. I really appreciate it. All right, so you just built your PC. You go to hit that button. It posts. You did it. It's awesome. But this RGB colors everywhere. It's just too much to handle. But that's okay. Today, I'm going to go over some of the different softwares, how we can kind of get them to work together, at least to get a coherent color scheme. But more importantly, we're going to talk about a conflict that happens between a gigabyte motherboard and G-Skill Trident Z RAM. So with that said, let's get into it and fix this lighting. All right, to start off with, I'm going to go over just a few of the RGB programs, specifically the ones in my system. So first, let's go over the G-Skill Trident software. So in this software, you can see that we've got different lighting effects. You've got different palettes depending on the effect. Uh, you can adjust individual LEDs in the RAM sticks depending on effects. You've got different profiles, so you can switch between different profiles quickly if you wanna make them. Uh, external sync. Don't recommend you do that with this software. And then you can just turn the LEDs off. So for today, I have a profile set up for just a static kind of purple color. Right there, you hit apply and it will go ahead and change the colors. Next, we're gonna pull up the Lian Li L Connect. And here you can see that they have sectioned this off into four different banks because you can run four separate banks on the controller for the uni fans. I've only got three. You have your fan modes where you can switch between PWM where the motherboard controls it, quiet, high speed, full speed, or you can just set your own RPM. We're gonna go ahead and leave that on PWM. On the LED mode, you've got all your different modes. And depending on the mode, you can choose your colors, your direction, or any other number of options like speed and brightness. So we're gonna go to static and you can see it removes the direction because there's no movement. And then here you would actually select how many of the fans in the bank you want to change. So for this one, we're gonna have all three fans in each bank because there's only three. Go to this purple. You can apply it to an individual bank or you can apply it to all. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and apply to all and you can see They've all changed. Next, we're gonna open up EVGA Precision X1. Now for this one, I'm just going to change the one on the top, right up there on top of the video card. I'm not gonna worry about the one on the back or on the end. So here, same thing. You've got all your different options, brightness, speed. So we're gonna to go to static on, I've already got the color set up. It's already changed the color. Save, and we'll go ahead and minimize that. And then next, this is where you can get into some trouble, especially if you have a gigabyte board and you're running RGB Fusion. So let's go ahead and open that up. And I want you to pay attention to the RAM sticks. All right, so as you can see, the Gigabyte Aorus RGB Fusion software has detected the motherboard and the RAM. You can also see that it is doing its own thing. Now it will control it, but it's very finicky. It will blink, it will flash, and sometimes it, the lights will just completely shut off and won't come back on without a reboot. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset the system, reboot it, and then I'm gonna go over exactly how we can keep RGB Fusion from even looking for the memory. And we're back. So everything with the memory is now being controlled by the memory. So what we need to do is we need to prevent RGB fusion from even looking for the memory. It's really easy to do. So first thing you wanna do is right click on RGB fusion, go to open file location. And what you're gonna be looking for is two files spd underscore dump it's an xml document and spd dump which is an exe file you're going to take both those files and you're just going to delete them 
those files are what allow RGB Fusion to even look for memory. So now if I open up RGB Fusion, you will see that it is only detecting the motherboard. And so now we can do what we want to do with the motherboard. And you can still see that the memory is still doing what it wants to do. So let's go ahead and open up G-Skill and it's already picked up that profile that I had before. So make sure and apply it. Close that out. And then I'm gonna set this to profile three, which I've already set up for a nice purple color. Now you can see that all the colors on the motherboard are the purple color we requested and they're not affecting anything with the RAM. So let's go ahead and go back into Precision X1 so we can get that graphics card back to where we want it. Save it. And there you have it. A cohesive color scheme for your computer. Now remember, all you gotta do is delete those two files and RGB Fusion will no longer mess with the Trident, the G-Skill Trident RGB RAM. So that concludes today's video. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. And I hope that this helps some of you out there with a gigabyte motherboard and it interfering with your RGB software of your RAM. Now for next week's video, it's gonna be really fun. And all I can tell you is it involves a switch, four people and everyone having their own 60 inch display, but it's not what you think. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next week.